So this is an interesting word for me because it kind of ties into culture. It's kind of wider. It's not about Englishness as such. Well, I think that's the same with empire or the same with culture or the same with any society. I think you're not, you're not part of this ex exhibition thread is the idea of who, what belongs to who and how do you belong as an artist or as a person to the cultures and how the cultures work stories of cultures work upon you. I mean, it's really interesting thinking about something like Churchill, for example. Churchill, 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 Churchill. So, oh, the, recent one. the recent one, how much of that is actually what we call truth and how much of it is a fictionalized idea and why those films are made at this particular time for a particular perceived psychological yes within people's cultural stories. Churchill, Churchill, Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like an icon. You've got this thing here, which is very up, it's about the icon, the gold thing. You've got the mirror, which is kind of common um, in, in iconography sometimes. And also the idea of the aspect of looking back. These are all found objects here. And this is a thing that I built. This is it's not finished. I, I, I built it, built it up with PVA, add, apply, burn, put bleach on it, cut into it, reinforce the back, rework it. And it's also to me there's I mean for my narrative there's the figure of the, the figure of the woman spontaneously evolved. I've spent a lot of time working the material with this and then one day I just looked at it and her literally the outline was drawn in about 20, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that's what evolved. And also then I realized the golden mean. I'd done the golden mean, hadn't I? I didn't even realise I'd done the golden mean, but I actually done the you know, the thing where you have it as a proportion. Yeah, yeah. proportion. And actually, yeah, this is like that. And then I kind of like a year ago, I was looking at a YouTube thing about artists and stuff, and then I suddenly realised I'd done the golden thing, hadn't I? Without even knowing it. So this also the British art is very dark, orthodox, very dark culture, very ritual orientated, very mystical. <laughs> You see, the important thing, as with art, as with histories, is you have to really know what you want to cover up and what you really want to leave uncovered. That's the most important thing. Hmm. For anyone then, maybe an incense thing could mean, I don't know. This is not real whiskey, you know. so you can have a not real whiskey if you want as well, my dear. Would you like to have a not real whiskey, maybe? It tastes bloody awful. <laughs> it tastes as awful as real whiskey, I have to say. And this is my father's um, gown and cake. It's a good job that I don't smell, so. It's a good job that They're herbal, they've got rose petals in them, oh, apparently. Good. Yes, they're very, supposed to be very soothing for the throat. <laughs> This is my father's gown and cape from when he was a barrister, and um, I've, this is not what he said, this is just what I put on from, I think, his relationship with the British establishment, really, when he tried to, tried to join the normal establishment. So I suppose, to me, it's, it's slightly a bittersweet take on my relationship with being part of the British culture, or the English culture, or the UK culture. Be like a star tries to join. Rose baths, all kind of stuff like that, and then you have this. I wanted to. What I wanted was I got really fucked off with the thing of that. I got really. I'm getting old. I've got really bad eyesight, so I can't. I couldn't tell. When you look up this close, you can actually see it's a face, and you can actually look at all the hard work that I put in to try and make it into a face. Where is the face? The face is here. Uh, and you have to be close up to see it. Oh yeah. And then yeah. if you're at distance, so I wanted a way of tricking the audience into somehow maybe seeing it. Because it is, I think it was in service from 1870 to 1914, kind of 1950s. Mm. Uh, it was the, again, <coughs> the, would have been the, the, the weapon of choice, this clo like colonial it. weapon, basically. Yeah. It would have been the, 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 weapon of, the weapon of issue mm. of every colonial officer, yeah. or every officer, English officer, would have been issued with one of those. Mm. Um, and um, and I put the, and this is this is a, a scan of this. You can see it's behind the desk. I'll show it to you. Those are those, some of those pages of the World Charles Atlas, which has got the great thing. You know, the Empire. It's got the phrase. This is why we say the the map is pink. This is why we say this is the Empire, which mm -hmm. is the King's King George, because Prince at the time of King George, the Empire, and all the song never set basically. So mm -hmm. you have that kind of thing going on there for me. It's kind of a pastiche of a pastiche of uh, um, what would you probably call redressive art to a certain extent. But I also wanted to make it because I, I, I hide things. This is, when this is finished, this will have a copy of the, the story walled up in the back.
Mm. Behind that, you've got a behind here, you've got a picture of an English officer um, whipping um, um, a, a man in Bangalore tied to a post. So there's always something hidden. There's always there's something behind the story. It's again a metaphor. What's behind the story? Get, get, get. So what's behind the story? This work is um, again. I had a picture hanging on the wall, which had a picture and been covered up. It's a piece of work. This is ongoing. It's called. So this is actually relates to a very hard story, which I don't want to talk about because I've talked about. It, I've talked spoken about. It, relates to families. My 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 family's history. They want to talk about the story, kind of. If anybody wants to ask me the story later on, I can tell them, but it's a very hard story, and people won't like it. Some people don't like it when I tell them later, but it's a true story. And that's called Soldier's Pay. And on the other side, you have this, which is called Trade Goods. So this is around the trade goods that people have used in the past in order to, to conquer or dominate other cultures. So they have got hair, blood, that's blood, um, guns, and there's also oil in it. Various, and the, also the white stuff stands as sugar, it also stands as cocaine maybe, whatever. Mm -hmm. The metaphors that you can read into that. It's, uh, create holes and stuff, mm -hmm. we use it for napping. I just find stuff all the time. I find stuff, my whole flat is just full of shit. Mm -hmm. But I uh, rearrange it and it becomes art. So basically that's, <laughs> that's what it is. Um, so yeah, so find stuff and it'll become something. And in four or five years I will find a way of putting this and making this into yeah. a piece of work. It'll become something, or I'll throw it away. Here's me again dicking around with cultures, looking at the future. So this is this work is called in his image. It's the, the final arrival of the Messiah, 20 million years after his predicted um, prophecy, basically. <laughs> so the idea that you know in his image is we're made in the image. In 20 million years, we'll have evolved into something else. I think this was my nine thousand.